upgrades and modifications to prepare for the uh, crew version of the vehicle and future uh, growth versions of, of SLS. Uh, the second mobile launcher, which is not pictured. Uh, Artemis 1 is going to prove the capability of the SLS and Orion and Exploration Ground Systems architecture and test the vehicle to ensure that we can safely carry crew on Artemis 2 and then return to the moon on Artemis 3. Here at Kennedy Space Center, the Exploration Ground Systems team is busy upgrading the systems and infrastructure needed to process future uh, Artemis missions. So where we're going to be launching from. And this is a photograph of the uh, liquid hydrogen tank. There's been some major upgrades at the pad. The first thing you'll see is the uh, sphere uh, liquid hydrogen tank. That work is well ahead of schedule. Um, Artemis II engines are complete and ready to ship. Uh, three of the four Artemis III engines are ready, and the fourth is nearly complete. And it is the, the safest spacecraft for humans ever created for our astronauts. It will go farther than we've ever gone before on Artemis I. Uh, 40,000 miles beyond the moon, and we are super excited to see how it perform. That heat shield on the back end is going to um, uh, show us how we've taken that material from the Apollo days and uh, brought that into the 21st century from a new way of manufacturing it. You can see here, this is a case winding for our DM1 test motor. So this will be our first Bole test motor that we fire. Uh, we're targeting you know we went in through this COVID, you know two years of COVID, and trying to get through that obstacle um, anyone that knows louisiana the past couple years we've been hit with hurricane after hurricane after hurricane and this team no matter what with their homes with no power and no w running water still was coming in to work and making sure the mission was going to happen so couldn't be prouder of the team and the energy is just it, you can't even explain it in words